Um, going back, my family worked in uh, the coal mining business mostly. Um, my dad worked in the mill, um, and that's just what you did. You worked to survive. Hi, Stephanie. Hi. Uh, hey, come on in. Since I've been here, I've seen this community decline. Uh, I don't feel like you could walk by anybody out, outside on the street and them not know someone that's died or right, yeah. someone that's in their family that's struggling with addiction. Right, right. So I'm studying to be a physician assistant. It's a 30 month program. I'm in my fourth month right now. One of the things that I'm learning is how terrible stress is for the body. Stress is such a huge contributor to things like chronic diseases and uh, addiction. So one of the things that I've started asking people is if meditation is so powerful in reducing stress, why aren't we using it more often? People are using opioids to deal with their symptoms. And they're saying methadone or suboxone, that's, that's the answer. Oh, well, that may be helpful, it certainly may be helpful for a while, but the deeper answer lies inside you. People do this, they practice it, and their lives change. And I mean, I know it seems like a, is this possible? Well, it's not a question of belief, it's about science and it's about experience. And people are hungry, hungry for that with the despair of the opioid crisis, the despair of poverty. They're hungry for feeling hope against despair, and the model builds that. 